Now, uh, this is pretty interesting. Um, I got this uh, Monster Toroid Transformer, and uh, it's about four inches. It's got uh, two primaries, and it's got three secondaries. The, um, the secondaries, if you uh, put them up to the ohm meter, um, are, all, are all connected. So, uh, in other words, there's continuity between each, each one of those things. So all three of those things seem to connect in the secondary. But through experimentation, I wanted to see if I could replace this monster toroid with a regular um, toroid I had, coil I had, which you can see back here. Um, that's the regular coil I had. There's the monster toroid. And um, what I did was, I got the regular coil working first, and... Um, to see what the right uh, potentiometer setting for the resistor was. Now I replaced my 26k uh, ohm uh, potentiometer with this 50k just just for for more variety right there. Um, and it's uh, less wires because it's actually stuck to the breadboard. Now to get this thing to light up, which you can see it is right here. The this is a blue LED. Um, to get this thing uh, to light up, I had to experiment to see which one of these uh, these uh, wires um, would work. So what I did was just by using the regular uh, setup that I normally would with a um, a coil, I went and I combined these two right here, which are the red and the white. Now the the white and the black are primaries for this uh, t big toroid. Um, and I think also the orange and the yellow are the other two primaries that are connected. So I combine the, the red, which is a uh, secondary, with a white, which is a primary. Um, the same configuration I would with a regular toroid, which is down here. Um, and then just by um, using the emitter uh, connection to one of the other wires, which is black on black, just to start to make a start, I went and I touched the the base um, uh, thing to all the other wires until I got this uh, LED to light up. Now here's the interesting thing. Um, right now it's putting out 2.9 volts, um, but when I when I take this uh, variable resistor potentiometer which I have connected to the battery and I open her up um, more so we allow more uh, juice to flow the interesting thing about this is the uh, the LED starts pulsing you will be able, you should be able to see it as I turn the the resistor down or allow more juice to come through it actually starts pulsing um, and then actually turns off when I have it opened up all the way so you can start to see it pulse now, pulsing more, and then basically the pulse turns off. So that's just pretty damn interesting because because that that's with the the full one point. It's probably about one one point one volts in that that uh, battery right now, but. Um, I'm going to be messing with this a little bit more. I'm still using a, a 2N3055 transistor with this and and the uh, charge pump circuit, which which has been working pretty well for me. Um, uh, the, the voltage went down to 2.74. Not a whole lot. Um, but anyway, we've got some serious oscillation going on here, which is pretty interesting. So uh, I'm going to be messing around with that a little bit more. But anyway... Um, my experiments with a super giant toroid on a jewel thief circuit. Uh, we'll be playing around a little bit more with this. Alright, thanks.